Hey, I'm Dr. Justin Hyatt, Riyadh at Equine Hospital in Weatherford, Texas, and this is Michael Eggleston from Kim and Equine. We're going to talk a little bit today about equine probiotics. A big part of our practice here at Riyadh Equine Hospital is using probiotics to treat cases. Uh, part of that is the component of a prebiotic, which not everybody knows. Michael Eggleston is here to kind of tell us what that is. Yeah, thank you. So, Prebiotics and probiotics definitely are, are two key components to having a healthy gut. It's important to know the, the similarities um, and then also the differences. So probiotics are going to be your living microorganisms, what we're feeding that gut that will colonize and, and help contribute to gut health. Prebiotics, on the, on the other hand, are the energy source for those probiotics. So it's really important for us to actually feed those probiotics these highly soluble fibers. So now that we know the science, what would be a good day-to-day -day example that you might see in your clinic? Well, this horse right here is a really good example of that. This is my son's three-year-old ranch horse that is very healthy and well cared for, but as a ranch horse, goes through a lot of different stresses, gets hauled all times of the day and night, has good feed, but is not always on a consistent basis, and his water sources can be varied based on what he's doing that day. So to maintain his gut health, keeping him on a consistent probiotic to provide those healthy substrates for his gut is the thing that balances out the different stresses in his life. So on this horse, the best way that we go about feeding him probiotics is just with a daily supplement, a granular daily supplement that we put in his feed every day. And that way, at least we can maintain a normal colony of good bacteria in his gut, irregardless of what's going on in his life. So Dr. Hi, what would another example be? This is an, uh, another great example of how we can feed probiotics to healthy horses to maintain that. This mare's a pretty interesting case that the larger of these two foals is hers. The other foal, she wound up having to take on as an orphan foal when the other mare refused it. Uh, so we basically feed her four times a day, providing her with a lot of carbohydrate, a lot of forage to maintain her body condition because we're trying to get her pregnant again. She's trying to maintain herself and then these two calorie drains right here that take a lot out of her. So the more we push her intestinal tract, with great quality forages, we still have to provide her with a way to safely maintain that and safely turn that into calories for her in the fold. Very good, very good. Michael, in my opinion, these are two really good cases of where probiotics are very important in equine medicine. One of them is our ranch horse that's going to have a, a really varied lifestyle and have a lot of stresses on him that we can equal out with probiotics. This one is kind of a two-in-one where we've got a mare that we're having to feed a lot of carbohydrate, a lot of feed to, to maintain her body condition and produce calories. But at the same time, these foals are going to wind up being uh, in situations where they need probiotics as well. And that's probably one of the more common ways I see probiotics used in the springtime is treating foal diarrhea, either preventing it when foal heat comes around or actually treating disease when they get sick and have intestinal problems. So with the large amount of feed that you're giving her right now, would you say that that could have a, a negative impact if she wasn't properly uh, mitigating some of that upset? So uh, maybe a, a more acidotic environment or something like that? Completely, Michael. I think that's one of the things that we have to push her with a lot of grain, a lot of fat, a lot of carbohydrates and forage. But a real entity is grain overload and what causes a lot of disease or laminitis and colic and things like that. So if we're providing her with such large volumes of, f of feed multiple times a day, we have to do something using our probiotics to best utilize that substrate in a safe way to keep her body condition going and maintain the calorie production in milk that what these foals need. Excellent, okay, very good. So Michael, these are two good cases that I can think of that I see from a daily standpoint in practice of using probiotics on brood mares or foals or performance horses, but that may not apply to everybody. So if you're not in this case, when you go to look for a probiotic for years, what do you look for? Well, you know, it's every horse can benefit from having a healthier gut. Uh, managing that pH, managing that horse's ability to effectively digest all of its nutrients, that, that benefits every animal. Um, you know, it's, it's so important to remember that 70% or greater of that immune system resides in that gut. So we want a healthy, sound horse. Whenever I go look for a probiotic, whenever I go to the store, I always look to make sure how it's handled, how it's packaged, and what kind of species are there. So, you know, when you, we start talking about probiotics, it's, it's kind of like horses. There's a, a lot of species of horses. It's not just 
horse, right? Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure we're getting something that actually is going to impact that animal's health in a positive way. We want to make sure it's been researched and that it's been deemed safe.